welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here this is esther at home please like and subscribe and you sure be blessed today upon the request from one of my fans i'm doing a voiceover and also i'm doing a local dish though i'm not fine i have flu and cough my voice is not so clear but who am i to send no, to my lovely fans we are going to do pilau beef pilau matoke and beef stew luombo it's an african dish mostly here in uganda those of you who don't know Luombo, it's a banana leaf. You cut it and roast it on fire. And it becomes so soft. So we are going to start with roasting our meat. <clears throat> we are going to add the banana peelings. These ones help to increase or to add the that special aroma in our dish to be smelling nice very nice and yummy so you are going to rest our meat you have to keep changing it like so that all sides can get rested and so that it doesn't burn And as our meat is resting, we can be preparing our ingredients. We are going to use onions, green pepper, uh, tomatoes, garlic, ginger, coat meal. We are going to use beef stew seasoning or beef masala, roiko white pepper curry powder i like using nunu nyamavinzar it has a nice aroma and that nice taste and you can comment down with other spices you use when preparing beef stew i know you have many i also want to learn some other new spices and towards the end of this video i'm going to show you the spices so far i have i don't have many but i have those ones i think i need for now and i'll keep on buying more spices so if you can recommend for me like other new spices i'll be grateful I think our meat is ready yes it's not so much but it will do so we are now going to cut it in two pieces so that we can start cooking and we are going to divide it by two half is going in the pilau and another half for our sauce let's cut our meat Since our meat has got that golden color, it's time to put our ingredients and spices. We are starting with onions, 
so we are putting our onions and keep frying until uh, our onions are brownish It looks yummy already. Now we are adding our green paper. It's time for carrots. You can cut cut them in any shape you want, whether round, square, and any size you want. So we've put our carrots. It's now time for our grated ingredients. Here we have garlic, we have coat meal, and ginger to add that aroma, a nice one. Uh, you can chop them instead of grating, but it's better when you grate. So we are adding our tomatoes. I like them when they are peeled. If you remove that outer skin, it becomes soft easier. And I don't like seeing that skin in my sauce. So when you remove it, it will just be clear. No tomato skin. Ah, it looks so nice and delicious. I wish you could join me and we eat this. When our tomato is softened, we are going to add spices. We are starting with beef stew seasoning or beef masala. Just put little like one spoon, a small spoon or a half. Then we are going to put white pepper. But if you don't have white pepper, you can use black pepper. It's also nice. Put very little since it's spicy. If you don't like spicy things, just put very little. Mm, so we are going to add a ray choose mix. This one helps with the aroma and also to thicken our sauce. And finally, we are adding our curry powder. Me, I like no, no, I don't know what to use. You can comment down below what you use as a curry powder. We are going to add some little water. Remember, very little. Since we are going to put in warm butter banana leaf, when steaming, it can also add some water. So you put little. We are also adding our salt. Don't forget salt. Mm, this is our luombo. The one I was talking about, the banana leaf, the roasted one. It's what you are going to use to steam out beef until it's red and it's really really good meat in luombo is really very tasty and delicious i wish you can try this recipe you will not regret it we are now adding our meat
I'm adding some little water. The other one I put it has already disappeared. So I'm adding some more little water. Then fold her wombo and don't forget to tie it well. After tying it well, you can steam it in a saucepan. Welcome back from the beef session. We are now going to prepare our be our beef pilau or meat pilau or rice pilau. But you are going to prepare beef pilau. We are starting with onions. You make sure I put a lot of onions because it's the one which is going to give us our color brown. And fry them until golden brown. Don't fry them until black. Leave it at this stage when it's golden brown. We are going to add our meat and fry it in this golden brown onions. But since we don't want our onions to get black, we can add tomatoes. And those tomatoes, we are going to put some water in it to help our meat become tender and soft since it's gas gas can drain that water easily that's why if we don't put some water in these tomatoes it may not get ready because the rice will get ready before the meat so you are going to add this and cover and leave it for some good minutes for our meat at least to become a bit soft so that when we add our rice to become more soft so we've added our tomatoes so we are now going to cook until our tomatoes are soft until this water is dry Since now our water is dry and our meat is a bit softer, we are going to add other ingredients. We are first adding the ginger, garlic and coat meal, grated, you can pound them. After adding it, you mix well for that aroma to, to get everywhere. Then we are going to add our pilau masala. This one is vital because it's called pilau rice. If you don't add pilau masala, it will not be pilau rice. So you are going to add our pilau masala, but don't put too much. It can become bitter. So just put enough. I'm putting one spoon to be enough. A small spoon, not a big spoon. Since I'm going to prepare little rice, I'm also adding my salt at this stage. So we are now going to add our water. I don't know which type of rice you cook because how many glasses of water depends on which type of rice. The method you're going to use to cook, whether charcoal stove, electricity or gas. Now we are going to cover and let it boil. Oh, I had forgotten the bell leaf. It smells nice. You can even add the stick, then cover. 
our water has boiled we are now adding our rice remember to wash the rice so we add our rice leave it on low heat Our rice is now boiling. We are soon eating. So we leave it to boil until the water dries. So now it's time to peel our matoke. I don't know if I told you in the beginning that we are also going to prepare matoke. But we are going to. Though I'm not going to go into details of matoke. Since I don't want a very long video, so I'm just going to show you the peeling process. Ah, then we wait for our food to get ready. Maybe I'm also going to show you my spices as I had promised you in the beginning. So meanwhile, as we wait for our food to get ready, these are the few spices I have in my kitchen. Uh, we have black pepper. Uh, we have our white pepper. We also have tea masala. That one is for tea. I like spiced tea. Not the plain one. This is our cinnamon. It's both for tea and for our food. I also use it on my face. I have vanilla. That's a flavor. I also have yeast for bread like baking. Mm, I have what else? What else? Uh, this is turmeric uh, so have paprika we have beef stew seasoning mixy we also have thyme uh, what else what else I have ray choose mix Oh wow. Mm, I also have others like somewhere there is pilau masala and some other few spices. Now our room is ready. You can see it. Eh? It's time for eating. Wow. So it's first anti it. You see our meat, it's red and very soft. Wow, it's smelling nice. Just no, it's smelling nice. So I'm going to serve and I enjoy.
that's my sauce my beef stew beef roll but it looks nice and yummy oh i wish you could join me and this is our pilau you see how it looks nice oh now it's time for eating thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe may god bless you